WFFT. This is your local sports with Courtney King in high definition. Well, there was some debate, some speculation that Caldwell would be allowed to stay, but of course that turned out not to be the case, or say settle that today. Right, and I think fans are, you know, were a little anxious about this topic. They kept waiting every week to see if, what was going to happen about it, so finally we have some news today. Now we know. Hi everyone, I'm Courtney King. Will the Colts continue to clean house by firing head coach Jim Caldwell today? Team owner Jim Ursay fired team vice chairman Bill Pullian and general manager Chris Pullian the day after the season ended. But it took a little longer for the decision on Caldwell, who just finished his third and worst season as head coach. Now Caldwell ends his Colts tenure at 26 and 22 overall with 14 of those losses this year. It was uh, it was difficult because uh, my affection for him and uh, knowing um, what a good man that he was and uh, that team played hard into the end last year and and that's a great credit to him. So. Um, I'm very excited about uh, the new opportunity to bring in a head coach. I'm excited about the search. Um, this is something that's going to uh, start immediately. And I really think that we're going to get an outstanding head coach uh, to lead us going forward. Well, it was confirmed today that Gunnar Keel, Indiana's best high school quarterback committed to Notre Dame. Keel originally committed to Indiana, where his brother was a quarterback, and he also later expressed interest in LSU. Last year at Columbus High School, he passed for over 2,500 yards and 28 touchdowns. Well, the Comets have been hit hard with injuries, but still sit in first place in the Turner Conference with 46 points. The Ks are three points ahead of the Quad City Mallards, who have a 22 and, excuse me, the Comets have a 22-11 and 2 record. Now, the Ks picked up just one point this weekend with half the season moving in, excuse me, with the second half of the season moving in, the Comets have one goal, that is win the Turner Conference. We want to play the second half just like we did the first. If we can have uh, only nine losses in the second half of the season um, and finish with under 20 losses, I think that's what uh, that's what our goal is. And, you know, this team wants to finish first overall and have the home ice advantage through the playoffs. So. If we can duplicate what we did in the, uh, in the first half, I think we'd be in a great great position. Um, you know, we haven't had the best start after the break, but uh, maybe we didn't have the best start of the season, so maybe we'll get rolling after uh, game four or five here. The rest of the season's going to be uh, really competitive, and uh, every game's going to be... Uh, Exciting and uh, close. I mean, this has stick to our systems that uh, the coaches taught us. Well, things are getting better for the Mad Ants, who are three and two since head coach Steve Ganzi took over. And on Sunday, the Ants beat the Dakota Wizards 19 to 16 in overtime. Well, tonight the Ants got a second chance to take back-to-back -back wins over the Wizards at the Coliseum. All right, now let's see some of this game action. Looks like an Ants mascot playing some musical chairs. Now, Marcus Dove with the short jumper. Dove shows the love tonight, has a 21-point game. Now, Justin Johnson charging to the hoop, dishes out the easy layup. JJ with a decent contest, putting up 14 points. Now, the Ants get it over to Sadio Rojas, who hooks it in for two. Rojas finishes with only four points tonight. Now, Sean Satterleiter goes inside the arc for the Jay Satterleiter's lone basket of the game. Now, Walker Russell Jr. charges through two Wizards and throws the rock into the bucket. Russell Jr. puts on a show tonight with 18 points, but the Mad Ants fail to take back-to-back -back victories and fall to the Wizards 1-6, excuse me, 106 to 100. Mad Ants now 8 and 13. Well, the University of St. Francis announced today that Mike McCaffrey is officially the Cougars athletic director. McCaffrey first started as a director of sports marketing and promotions in April 2008 and took over as interim AD in February last year after former athletic director Mark Pope retired. McCaffrey is excited to have the official title. There's no question about it. Uh, you try to function as an interim like you would as if you had the job anyway and kind of pray and hope that everything works out the way you want. Uh, so the mentality hasn't changed, but there's certainly a, a sense of relief that there's no interim in front of it anymore. Uh, but basically, my goals are to keep uh, the, the coaches getting the resources they need to be successful, get the right student athletes, have the right coaches in place so the success on the field will follow after that. Cougars hosting number 14 ranked Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats in an MCC matchup tonight. Now Aaron Martin goes down low to Patrick Hopskins for the bank shot. Hopskins on fire tonight with 23 points. 
Now Scott Cohn looking for options. Look at this. He pivots and goes window shopping for two. Now Cohn has a pretty good night and nets 13 total points. Now Derek Troyer on the breakaway throws up a one-hander. Troyer with a decent showing tonight netting 10 points. Now Q Owens goes baseline throws up the layup for two. Owens puts on a show with 19 points. Now Troyer over to Jordan Weiner for the alley-oop. Weiner nets 13 total points on the contest and the Wildcats take this one 75 to 68. Cougars now 13 and eight. Well, the IPFW nine and eight overall and five and three in conference, but this week they will have a chance to get over 500 in the Summit League with two conference matchups against Oral Roberts and Southern Utah. Now the Don say the 16 and four Oral Roberts Eagles will be one of the best teams they face all year. Uh, you know, Oral Roberts is really good. They, uh, they've got four guys who I, I legitimately believe could be first team all league guys. Um, they're they're well coached. You know we feel pretty good going into these games. We know we have to win, and uh, I mean we're playing two great teams, so we're gonna have to bring it both both games. I mean Oral Roberts is probably the best team in the league right now. They're, they're pretty good. They have you know pretty good season. They're you know, every spot's talented, so it's not like uh, you know some some teams only got one or two good players. You know they have a whole squad. That's all we have for you here in sports. Let's send it back over to Jim. Okay, Courtney, thank you. Winter is back, obviously, so you might as well enjoy it. How to take a winter vol just ahead on WFFT Local News, first at 10 in high definition. Neck pain, back pain, arthritis pain, cancer pain, fibromyalgia pain. Your pain is more than black and white. Why aren't there more pain treatment options? Centers for Pain Relief offer the latest advancements in comprehensive pain treatment.